In this video, I'll show you how to add and ban right to left subtitles to a video in Adobe Premiere Pro version 22.1.2 .2 and beyond. This is updated because the Universal Text Engine has been updated to easily accommodate right to left language uh, or right to left languages uh, because in previous versions it was really hectic working with right to left languages and an example here is Arabic, uh, Farsi, Hebrew, etc. So I've got my projects inside here uh, and all I need to do is uh, work with this particular subtitle. It is an Arabic subtitle but if I just double click on it one thing that you'll appreciate is that it is in left to right but since I know it's written uh, for right to left uh, and clearly uh, you, we can see here it's it's uh, the punctuations are on the right in right to left languages the punctuations should be on the left uh, uh, and basically the text should be written and read from right to left so since we already have a subtitle file that is not in the correct orientation then what we can do here is that we'll begin by uh, just dragging and dropping this inside our projects folder and once it's there we can just uh, add it to our timeline here as a new caption track and the format is subtitle and then you see the style if you have styles uh, set up you can add that but the start point is the source time code because this particular subtitle track or SRT file is already timed to this video now you can also do it at playhead position or at timeline start just click OK and once I click OK our Arabic subtitle is going to be added here now the first thing that I always do uh, when working with subtitles in Premiere Pro is that I'll make sure that I look at it and see uh, that the subtitle text is extremely small so to universally or basically change the size of all the subtitles click on one subtitle and then press on control A and once you do that everything is going to be highlighted then you need to crank up the font size let's say we go with a font size of about 42 and when I press enter our text size is going to get a little bit bigger I can just bring this here and then adjust this slightly so that we can appreciate the next thing with the update to uh, Premiere Pro version 22.1.2 I've mentioned that the Universal Text Engine was updated. Now, when it was updated, there are extra options here that were no longer uh, functional uh, inside the font section. And it's this particular option, left to right typing and right to left typing. If I click on this, please remember you need to have highlighted all the text here. If I click on the right to left typing, just click on it, this is what happens all the text inside here is put in the right to left orientation if I click on this you'll notice that now the punctuation is on this side the punctuation is on that side if you keep going down you'll notice that now the subtitles are in the correct orientation as they should be clearly in the right to left orientation now we've gone through the first part we have added our right to left subtitle in Premiere Pro and we've made sure that everything is in the right orientation now what if I just click on this and without selecting anything else I click on this notice what happens only this particular subtitle is affected is now in the left right orientation so ensure that you always make sure that before you do any change here you make control a uh, to this particular section something else you can add here is maybe a background can just scroll down click on background and then we can just crank it up slightly let's just move this slightly uh, slide is somewhere there uh, 76 too much let's go with something like 50 percent and then since this is a whole block for both texts let's assume you just wanted uh, just uh, each line to have its own black or as a, a transparent background we can go to this range for the graphics properties and then click on the fill mode per line click OK and then you'll see that but one thing you need to bring down is the thickness this uh, particular option here, I believe is a size just bring it down to about 
is a sweet spot i think 2.7 i think even 2.5 if i'm not mistaken uh still looks looks good but also depending on the language this may not look as good as if you're working with an english file so once we're done with all that kind of styling we now have our subtitles with different backgrounds uh there we go there we go looks good now all we need to do is just come to uh with our particular project selected or whatever uh, way you want it file and then we go to export or press on control m uh, and then we can just go to uh, let's go to h264 and then we can just click on this and then we can select the output folder and then add like a premiere sample click on save and then if you're satisfied with that then you can just come here or even just click on match source and if you match source or whatever uh, we can also just crank down uh, for a short video like this i think i'll just go with about three uh, for the target bitrate and then just click on export uh, since this is a short file it's just going to pass through and then we can see how our subtitles look like once we're done uh, basically the process is adding the arabic or even the right to left language subtitle to your project let's say you somebody else created it for you and then you ensure that even if it is not in the right to, to left orientation you set it uh, correctly and once that is done make sure you apply all the types of styling that you want and then you can ban it to your video pretty simple pretty quick uh and it's something that i think adobe has really done well so let's preview this particular subtitle uh that has been banned to the video uh just just, just navigate to the folder with that particular file let's just go date modified here we go just double click on it it's going to play inside vlc uh, let's play with the recent up now we can see and appreciate the background the arabic subtitle uh, let's see the punctuation it on the youtube interface it's now easier than before to download so we can see the punctuation on this side youtube and all that youtube transcripts hi my name is david and something else is that for example this is an english name freelancerinsights.com it's in the right orientation it's not reversed from freelancerinsights.com where we believe you should the punctuation still comes to this side so i believe we have met uh or we have done what we wanted to do and that is to add right to left language subtitle and ban it to our video in premiere pro i hope this tutorial has been of value to you uh, and also there's few things i've shown you how to make par line uh, type of subtitles add a background and also to remember to always highlight all subtitles so that you don't make adjustments in whatever way to just one subtitle when you wanted to make adjustments to all the subtitles you can also i believe uh create your own styles so that whenever you import a subtitle you can just uh use the style that you've selected so thanks for watching until next time stay safe and never stop learning